Hello everybody, this is Moonfruit and here it finally is, the long-awaited eye candy tour of the Leonardo's Reeves laboratory in the Netherlands. If you love Acropora as much as me, you have found the right video. Start to end, this is 100% pure Acropora eye candy and this is also the place where I personally get all my acros from because they're all pest-free, guaranteed, they're all aquacultured this is not a chop shop. Every single coral you get from here is super healthy, colored up and used to the aquarium life. I should mention this is not sponsored whatsoever, but the Leonardo's Reefs farm is not usually accessible for customers in person. It's purely an online store, but they did make an exception for me and I just wanted to show you guys what I experienced. And that was a collection of over 300 hand-selected species that have been curated over many, many years. They're also constantly still sourcing new species and strains to expand on their collection. And I literally felt like a kid in Acropora Candyland. I've also had to categorize all these corals somehow. So let's just start with some classic and OG strains that have been around the hobby for a very, very long time. Alright, it's been on screen for a hot second now. The Confetti Acropora, which has that super metallic coloration, forming a minty green base leading up to a purpley pink tip on every single branch. And it's really hard not to notice how fuzzy this species really is. It really puts some Acropora millipora to shame. Next up, we have one of my personal favorite acros of all time already. It is the Acropora abritinoides. It is a staghorn type acro that is vastly different from your average green stag. First of all, those hot pink tips are very hard to miss, but the most obvious feature that gives away it is an abro are those massive and thick branches, which tell us that it comes from shallow reefs in the wild and it needs a lot of flow. This specimen in particular is super neon colored and was sourced from Bali but one coral over we have the same species from Australia and it's really cool to see them side by side because you can clearly tell it's the same species but the coralite structure is slightly different you have a slightly different shade of green and pink so it's really crazy to see how the Latin name alone is not enough to identify a coral it really matters where it's from and next up we have another staghorn in the mix. It is the unmistakable PC Rainbow with its bright red coloration. And that is an unusual color for Acropora to begin with, let alone a staghorn. The green and gold base make this a true masterpiece and rightfully a classic that no collector should ever be missing in their tank. I tried to color coordinate this a little bit. Here we have the Pikachu style Acropora. It is a strain of Acropora Scytherea. And if you will give it a lot of light, it will thank you with those incredibly bright yellow coralites. And here we have the same species, yet a different strain, very similar but the yellow is much more pronounced in the Wolverine style or the Proteus Acropora. It is much easier to maintain the yellow color in this one and if you round it off with red polyps you have one of the most sought after classics that everybody wants in their tanks. And yet another truly old school acro strain, the Joe's Mango Garden, which is so much more than just a green acro. It has those bright purpley tips on a green base and a beautiful orange gradient separating the tips and the base. In my opinion, it's a great indicator coral as I found the amount of orange will vary depending on your nutrients. Of course, it's not to be confused with the Rainbow Loom, which looks very similar, almost the same, but with this strain of Tevaricata, you trade some of the orange coloration for a more metallic sheen. It's very hard to pick up the difference on camera, but you can see it in person for sure. And the third Tevaricata in the mix has a very funny name. The Bubble Bath Unicorn is almost solid orange with even deeper purple tips. 
Here we have the Blueberry Fields Acro, which is another staple that you could almost confuse with a bonsai, but they're not the same. It's kind of like a cross between a bonsai tricolor acro and maybe the Joker acro. It has those very bright green, almost yellow polyps all over. And we have a sister strain, the Snowberry Acro, which is very similar as well, but it has a blue, gray, almost white base in person. It's very hard to pick a favorite between these two, but if you're a collector, you can surely appreciate these subtle differences between the both of them. The OG Bali Shortcake. Man, that thing has been around forever and ever. Just like the other classics, you can't go wrong with this one. It is a solid green acro with red polyps and blue tips. And if you keep it around long enough and keep it happy, it will reward you with the perfect pillow shape. Last but not least on my list of OG and classic strains is the Cali Tort. In my opinion, this coral has really become underrated lately. It never disappoints. It is super robust and fast growing and the blue coloration it has is so easy to keep and it shines bright blue in both blue light and full spectrum. And guys, if you enjoyed the video so far, please take a second to like the video and subscribe because there's a lot of work that goes into these videos and I would really appreciate it. So let's move from the classics to the more spicy, what I call holy trinity of rainbow acropora. What do I mean by that? I mean all acropora millipora, Acropora latistella and Acropora tenuis. Those all come in the most eye-melting, fluorescent colors and color combinations and truly deserve the title rainbow. As you can already tell, some of these colonies here at Leonardo's Reeves are incredibly big. They're easily a foot, foot and a half in diameter and look like they were plucked straight from a wild reef as they are. Now the first Millie I'd like to showcase in greater detail is this incredible specimen that I found in one of the grow out and spawning tanks. As far as I'm aware it does not have a name yet and it has not been fragged which is an absolute shame because the super dark pink color with a touch of green at the base of all the branches is totally stunning and the coralites and polyps have this white hot almost champagne color just an overall very unusual combination that I haven't seen before. This was by far the nicest strain of Sunset Millipora I have ever seen with the bright neon green base, neon orange coralites and those very pronounced almost golden tips. This one was also quite special because it had those even for a milli unusually long polyps. You can really see the difference in polyps when comparing it to this specimen which has more regular polyps but an anything but regular yellow coloration with green polyps all over the coral. And this one guys I'm telling you was the showstopper millipora. Yet another gem they stashed away in their spawning tanks. It was an outright firework of colors with a darker green base that gets lighter towards the top of the branches, bright bright orange coralites and those cherry red polyps made it really pop. And some purple tips here and there, but as far as I know the name is still TBD and it has not been released yet. But let me know in the comments down below what you would name this absolutely breathtaking strain of Millipora. This one is not a colony, but a real chonker of a frag and beautiful too. It is one of the best millies you can get, a pure gradient from purple through shades of pink to a creamy base with purple polyps around the tip and emerald green polyps throughout the rest of the coral. This one is called the Milkshake Millipora and it really caught my attention from across the room because of its crazy contrast. Shades of a dark pink and red with bright green, almost yellow tips. Just by the looks, I think it could be the fuzzy sibling of the more famous Jason Fox, Fox Flame Acropora. Let's step it up one more notch and talk about the hype coral number one at the moment. It is Acropora Tenuis, of course. Recently, they got renamed depending on where they originate from. Australian Acropora Tenuis are now called Acropora Kenti. Agropora bifaria is now the name for all tenuous from Indonesia and Agropora tenuous, the actual tenuous name is now exclusively for the Fijian varieties. 
but for simplicity's sake, I'll just keep calling them tenues. And the first Acropora tenues, you've already been looking at it for a while now, is the Leonardo's Reeves Signature Dalt Wisney Acropora, pun absolutely intended. It is a bright, bright green, super shaggy tenuous with peachy pink coralites and super duper blue tips. And from what I was told is it actually grows really fast for a tenuous. Here is another very chunky frag of what I also consider a classic, the Cherry Bomb Tenuous that sets itself apart with the unmistakably bright red polyps that very few other corals possess. This absolute superstar of a coral is the LR Tangerine Tenuous. It has those brilliant blue tips that crown a gradient of purple on every branch and it has those super neon orange polyps and if you look very closely some of those polyps even have some green in them. It's the contrast of blue on orange that make this one of my favorite corals at the farm. And what's better than one orange tenuous? About four more orange tenuous I would say. So here we have some of the most eye melting neon orange tenuous the seven seas had to offer. Starting off with the orange passion that gets its name from those super juicy orange colored polyps and it has a little bit of a citrusy yellow shining through on its tissue. It also grows a bit more compact and dense compared to other tenuous. This one's another one of my personal favorites at the farm. It has those very remarkable seafoam green, almost turquoise green tips. It also, next to the other orange tenuous, looked a bit more peachy, a bit more pink almost. An absolutely incredible combination of colors that I'm sure will never get boring. And unfortunately I did not catch the name of this guy, but it looks very similar to the tangerine tenuous from earlier. It is super duper purple. It has those green polyps towards the tips of the actively growing branches and it's just an incredible spectacle of colors. Here I have to show you the orange passion and the pink highlighter for comparison one more time because I'm about to show you the one to rule them all, the most orange of tenuouses. This one had such incredible glowing polyps. It is absolutely unreal and a video could never do it justice. It has the bluest of blue tips you can imagine and every single coralite looks like it's got a little flame coming out of it. And if you pay attention and look very closely, you can see a little bit of neon green around the base and those golden coralites. This one is absolute tenuous perfection and I am sure it would steal the show in any tank next to any other coral. And the last category of the Holy Trinity are the Latistella type acros. And as you can already tell in the background, these guys pack an absolute punch in terms of colors. The most distinct feature about Latisellas, in my opinion, is the bright fluorescent and contrasting tip on every leading axial coralite. Unlike the Millies and the Tenuous, these guys have much smaller polyps, but that really allows you to appreciate all the different colors of the tissue that melt into each other. This is a smaller new addition to the grow out system, but as you can tell, those bright blue and purple tips with green Latistella halos make it a sight to behold. I can't wait to see what this one will look like in another year or so when it's grown into a small colony. Another prime example of Acropora Latistella is the LR Angel Eyes. It is a bright pink acro with purple coralites, orangey polyps, and literally tricolor tips that range from baby blue to a navy to a green halo. The dragon fruit Latistella is another one of Leonardo's signature corals that left me absolutely speechless. Orangey yellow with purple tips are absolutely unreal and in combination with the greenish base this is about the maximum contrast you could ever get out of any coral because that almost perfectly forms a triadic color combination. 
While this one is not as bright as some of the others, it really charms you with those pastelli peach base colors, red polyps and blue tips. Just like the other Latistellas, it grows fairly quickly and in addition, it's actually not that easy to find Acropora that really has the true teal fluorescent protein in it. People always just look for the most eye-melting greens, oranges and pinks, but guys, do not sleep on the teal fluorescent corals. And I saved one of the best Latistellas for last, the LR Crimson Flame, another signature coral from Leonardo's Reef. Just look at it. It was absolutely surreal seeing this in person. Again, the camera does not do it justice. That cream orange base with the crimson polyps in combination with the pink and purple coralites that especially pop when you look at the leading branches around the side. And last but not least, guys, I want to show you the Lizard Island Latistella. And this one is super, super cool, not just because of that deep purple base, but because it has the fluorescent yellow accents, not just on the axial coralites, but all over the radial coralites as well. So after seeing all of these corals, guys, I'm gonna make it easy for you. Let me know in the comments down below your top three corals of the video. I have so many more to show you guys, some deep water acros, some really expensive and rare ones and some acros that I have never seen before. So if you enjoyed the video and want to see the rest, please subscribe for part two, which I'll be releasing later this week. In the meantime, maybe you want to take a look at one of my other videos on screen right now. And as always, thank you so much for watching.